topic for Mathematics 9 again today. And it's about quadratic formula. We're going to solve quadratic equations using a formula. What is our quadratic formula? This is our quadratic formula. X is equal to negative B plus minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. We have to remember this formula, even though mahaba siya, right? Example number one. Solve for the roots of 2x squared plus x is equal to 28. The first thing to do is to write the equation into standard form. ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. Our example here, or given, is not written in standard form. Kasi hindi equal to zero. Kaya we apply addition property of equality. We put negative 28 to both sides of the equation so that the equation will become equal to zero. Okay, the inverse of positive 28 is negative 28. So add negative 28 to both sides and simplify. 2x squared plus x minus 28 is equal to zero. So standard form na yung ating quadratic equation. After that, we can now find or identify the values of a, b, and c. Our a here is found on the first term. So a is 2, b is 1, and c is a negative 28. Ano ang susunod na step? Alam na natin yung a, b, and c. Next, or third step, substitute the values of a, b, and c in quadratic formula. Ito na yung a, b, and c natin, di ba? Tapos ito yung quadratic formula. Yan, ang dami. Pero, kaya natin yung isolve. Basta dahan-dahan lang yung ating pagsulat dun sa ating solution. Again, these are the values of a, b, and c. And then, ito yung ating quadratic formula. Ayan. So, i-substitute lang natin yung a, b, and c dun sa ating formula. So, negative. Automatic may negative na yon sa formula. Then, ano ba yung b natin? Yung b natin is 1. So, we write 1. Plus, minus, yan, 1 squared. Yung b natin, minus 4. Constant na yung 4. Yan, constant na yan, or nandyan na yung 4. Tapos, yung a natin, ano ba yung a natin? a is 2. Tapos, yung c natin is negative 28. Over 2. Okay, constant na yung 2. Nandyan na lagi yung 2. And then, multiplied by a. Yung a natin is 2. Next, unahin natin isolve yung may exponent o yung may squared. Ayan. So, just copy the other. Like, yung negative 1, just copy lang. Plus or minus. Okay. Simplify 1 squared. Um, 1 squared is 1. And then, negative 4 times 2 is negative 8 times negative 28 over 4. Kasi 2 times 2, 4. So, nag-simplify lang tayo. So, dito dapat dahan-dahan para hindi tayo nagkakamali. Next, negative 1, just copy, plus minus square root of 1. Yan, it, multiply na natin yung negative 8 and negative 28. So, 8 times negative 28 is 224 over 4. Yan. Ngayon, i-add natin yung nasa loob nung square root o nung radical sign. 1 plus 224 is 225. Ngayon, ano ang square root ng 225? Ang square root niya is okay, positive and negative 15. Again, dalawa yan. Positive 15 at saka negative 15. So, negative 1 plus minus 15 over 4. 
Okay, 15 times 15, 225. Kaya 15 yung nakuha natin na answer dito. Ngayon, ang susunod natin is ipaghiwalay or separate natin yung pagsulat ng plus and minus. So, dito gamitin muna natin plus. Negative 1 plus 15 over 4. Sa kabila, negative 1 minus 15 over, over 4. Ayan. Kita nyo? So, galing yan dito. Pinaghiwalay lang natin yung plus and minus. Then, simplify natin. Negative 1 plus 15 is 14 okay, over 4. Sa kabila, negative 1 minus 15 is negative 16 over 4. Simplify. X sub 1 is equal to 7 over 2. Ni lowest term lang natin. Then, ito, simplify natin. Negative 16 divided by 4 is negative 4. Therefore, the roots of our quadratic equation is um, 7 over 2 and negative 4. Okay? So, ayan lang. Ganyan lang kadali yung quadratic formula. Ang kailangan lang talaga maging maingat tayo. Tapos, um, hanggat maaari, step by step natin isolve. Let's sum up the steps in solving quadratic equations by quadratic formula. The first one is to write the equation into standard form. After that, identify or find the values of A, B, and C. And the last is to substitute the values of A, B, and C in the quadratic formula. Remember the formula. Negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Again, unahin natin isosolve yung squared and then yung nasa loob ng radical sign. Okay, pag na-solve na natin yun or na-simplify, saka na natin idagdag yung iba. Basta maging maingat lang tayo or i-apply natin yung tinatawag na PEMDAS. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching and I hope na may tutunan ka dito sa video ko and keep on learning. Huwag din kalimutang mag-subscribe sa aking channel para mas marami pa kayong matutunan sa math.